Okay, so the glue has dried. It took off the alligator clips. That's like in there now. You see the little bit of overlap uh, that I was talking about that I'm gonna trim off later. I'm gonna do that after the stitching though, just so, just to minimize any excess cutting because sometimes the stitching, you know, pulls together and it can move things very slightly if you're not doing a good job. And I'm, uh, I'm often not doing a very good job. So, uh, that is where we're at with that stitch. That stuff glued in, I'm gonna all it out now. Um, just with the old diamond awl, same as usual. And I'm, I'm gonna come kind of to the edge of the table so I can get this nice and flat right here. You see it's kind of bending the boot a little bit. And that's why we glue it, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to hold it in a, in a specific way without it being glued down. But thankfully we got it pretty good now. I'm gonna match the same, see these stitches up here that we did earlier around the top. They're already at an angle, so I'm gonna match that same angle. Uh, just direction of the, the stitching for up here. I'm just gonna come through and start doing my thing. I should get a little more light in here. It's a little dark. Got my little light. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Back to it. I'm realizing these boots are taking me forever relative to like how long I thought they were gonna be. Originally, this project was gonna be one of those. Uh, it was gonna be like kind of a speed run of the skills that I know how to do. I wanted to get all of my other life. Uh, work, not my life's work, but you know, just like regular day-to-day -day work, out in the way and see if I could make a pair of boots in like three days. And it's been like two months, maybe longer, and I haven't gotten nearly as far because these videos definitely limit the amount of time I'm willing to work. Cause I gotta set up everything and there's these little steps that like I would normally just do really quickly. Uh, but instead I'm setting up cameras and it's taking longer and I'm embarrassed about my voice and all that fun stuff. So that's why these boots are taking long. My next pair I'm not gonna document I'm just gonna make them crazy fast. And see if I can actually make a pair of boots in a reasonable amount of time. Mm. Those are gonna, I'm gonna go back probably to somewhat of a hole cut. Cause those ones I wanna make I have this buffed natural Essex that looks kind of like suede. Um, it's the same, Essex is the same type of leather as this, but it would be this side in here is, has been like sanded down and buffed down to have kind of a soft uh, suede kind of texture. But it's that natural color of Essex. And it's veg tan leather, so it should age nicely. But I'm gonna do one of those. Um, I'm sure I'll post pictures of it on Reddit or whatever, if and when I finish, but uh, I won't be making a video series for that one. Uh, the same way I won't be making a video of the stitching on this. I'm just 
doing the awling because I can't really watch TV and all at the same time anyway. But I'm probably going to just do the stitching and throw on some Netflix or something. There, we can cut that all all out. Like, not a little bit offline down here. Not like the dots were online, but the stitch was generally going below the hole rather than straight through the center of it. But now we go back and we do this one. There's like detail, there's a lot of details that you're gonna notice and people on the internet are gonna notice, but people in real life are not gonna notice. Unless you're trying to sell your shoes. But really, you shouldn't be trying to sell your first pair of shoes. And you shouldn't be watching this if it's not your first pair of shoes, because this is blind leading the blind right here. Maybe uh, you're just watching it to feel better about your shoe making, because I, uh, I write uh, as my chosen career screenwriter. And uh, sometimes I watch some pretty shitty television just to feel better about what I'm writing. Um, so you could be doing that. You could just be like watching me try to figure this out. And be like, hey, my shoes ain't so bad in comparison. And honestly, I wouldn't blame you. I'm kind of going off the dots a little bit right here. I kind of ended up on an odd dot. But as long as you're the same distance from the dots. So if you have to go between, like if you poked out your dots that you're alling out, it, and it ends kind of oddly. And instead of alling out right on the dot, you want to all out just to the side of a dot or just to in the middle of a dot, that's fine too. It definitely happens. I'm probably gonna use that stitch right there. Um, so I'll do that sometimes. Or if I'm like going too fast and I end up making one like a little far to like the left of the previous one, like I just did right there, I'll uh, I'll adjust it for a couple of stitches until I can get back onto the right path because I don't want to like have like the transition be too jarring. So like, say like I went a little too far for that stitch, I don't wanna immediately try to like fully correct or else you're gonna see that one close stitch is really noticeable. But if you kind of gradually work it back to where you're supposed to be, you can get away with it. All right. I think that's all, all. So yeah, next step, I'm gonna stitch this up. I'm not gonna show you how I do that because that's all, it's easy. You should, uh, there's a video, I keep telling you there's a video you should Google. There's a, like an hour long video called like how to stitch leather by some dude. And he's good at it. See, uh, another thing is, so the way this tongue works with the gusseted tongue, uh, you can see how low the stitches are here because I'm going to trim off like a lot of this right here. So, but anyway, so the gusseted tongue has this lip and it comes down a little bit here. So like when it folds in, it's going to protect this little nook. And on this one, it's a little bit too much. It doesn't want to tuck all the way in. So I'm actually going to come in. I'm going to cut that up a tiny bit and just cut a tiny chunk until that fits properly. It's not, not anything important or a big deal to do, but is what I'm gonna do. And then after it's all like stitched, I'm gonna put two lines of stitches right here just to attach the tongue to the vamp. And then after that, it will be time to do the eyelets and then time to last. <laughs> 